Matthew talked about two really interesting cases. Matthew, could I ask you about each of them? The first was Morton, and these are family court cases, and they're about whether the family court can bust a trust. Can you tell us the facts in Morton and what the result was? Morton, Rob, was a case where there was two brothers effectively in control of the trust. Each brother had 50% of the shares in the trusted company. Each brother was a director. Each brother was jointly the appointor with the other. One of the brothers had a matrimonial bust up and his wife was trying to argue that, well, clearly her former husband was in control of 50% of the trust and therefore 50% of the assets of the trust were at risk. The court held the exact opposite. The court said that because each brother was equally in control, effectively neither of them were in control and therefore the assets of the trust were not exposed on his relationship breakdown. No control, no exposure. Perfect summary. Now, the second case was Bernard. Different facts, same outcome. What were the facts there? Yeah, Bernard, Bernard's a slight iteration, as you say, Rob, because under Bernard it was actually a testamentary trust. So the father of the, the relevant husband that was having a relationship breakup, he had died some years earlier. He'd set up two testamentary trusts under his will. One was ostensibly for the son and one was ostensibly for his daughter. Uh, but, and critically in the eyes of the court, there were some particular nuances that meant that the assets of the trust for the husband when he busted up inside the trust were not exposed. And the two key things that the court focused on were first, well, three things I would say. Firstly, that the trust was a testamentary trust. So it wasn't done with any particular mischief in mind other than dealing with the father's estate plan. The second one was that the brother was not in fact the trustee of, of air quotes, his trust, his sister was. And the third was there was an independent appointor. So even if the sister was removed, it would be removed at the behest of an independent party. So I suppose the lesson from these cases is if you're careful in the way you design your trusts, you can protect assets from the family court. Yeah, I'd say that with the qualification that you need to have actually turned up to the TEN conference to, to get that knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Matthew, and thank you again for speaking. Great to be part of it.